Patrick Henry, recognized as one of the esteemed founding fathers of the United States, delivered his impassioned speech titled Give Me Liberty, or Give Me Death, during the Second Virginia Convention in 1775. The purpose of this convention was to deliberate on how to address the looming military threat posed by Britain. While some advocated for compromise, Henry firmly believed in fighting for independence. His immediate goal with this speech was to persuade Virginia to raise a militia in defense of their liberties. Although no original manuscript of Henry's speech has been preserved, accounts from convention attendees were collected and later consolidated into the current text by William Wirt, who authored a biography on Patrick Henry 42 years after the convention. Addressing his speech to Peyton Randolph, the president of the Virginia Convention, Henry displays respect for those who spoke before him recognizing that reasonable people may hold differing opinions on the matter at hand. He emphasizes the significance of the question of independence, asserting that it is of such magnitude that he cannot keep his thoughts to himself. To withhold his views, he argues, would be tantamount to treason and a betrayal of God himself. Henry acknowledges the natural inclination of the colonists to seek a peaceful resolution, but urges them to confront the possibility that they might be turning a blind eye to the unjust treatment inflicted upon them by Great Britain. He implores them to open their minds and hearts to the whole truth, no matter how distressing it may be. Drawing upon their past experiences with British conduct, Henry expresses his conviction that Britain will persist in its oppressive ways. He calls upon the colonists to reflect upon the actions of Britain and question what evidence exists to foster hope for a different outcome. With unwavering conviction, Henry proclaims that placing trust in Britain would be an act of betrayal. He points out that Britain is actively preparing for war, and the only conceivable purpose for its military buildup is to deploy forces against the colonies. Reflecting upon the history of the past decade, Henry contends that the colonists have exhausted all efforts to maintain civility with the British, only to be met with violence and indifference. Having explored every non-violent avenue, Henry asserts that simply hoping for peace is no longer tenable. If the colonists truly desire freedom, he declares, they must be willing to fight for it. Addressing concerns about the colonies' perceived military weakness, Henry questions the likelihood of improvement in their situation. On the contrary, he suggests that their strength may diminish as Britain could potentially disarm the colonists or station troops within their homes. Nevertheless, Henry emphasizes that the colonies possess a powerful ally in God, who has also provided them with potential allies among other nations. He emphasizes that the colonists are left with no alternative but to fight or surrender to the shackles of slavery. Henry dispels the illusion of peace, asserting that Britain's actions already signal the commencement of war. He concludes his impassioned speech by reiterating his firm stance, he would rather face death than continue to live in chains. While acknowledging that others may choose a different path, Henry resolutely declares, as for me, give me liberty, or give me death. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.